In this video, we will learn how to remove double chin in Photoshop. In the first example, we will remove it from a side view. And then in the second example, we will do it in a street view. It is relatively easier to remove or reduce the double chin when you have a side view. Let's do the first example. First, convert the layer into a smart object. When you convert a layer into a smart object, that gives you the ability to modify any effects later. Now go to filter, liquify. With the forward warp tool, we'll slowly push the chin upward. You can change the brush size by pressing the left or right bracket key. Make sure you have a lower flow, something around 30 to 40. You can select the freeze mask tool to lock any areas so that you don't accidentally affect any other areas. Now those red marked areas won't be affected. Let's continue fixing the chin. Take your time and slowly push it upward. Don't do too much otherwise it would look fake. When you are done and if you think you did a little too much, then use reconstruction slider. It's like undo with the slider. You can reduce the effect that we just did. This looks okay for this photo. Where is the before and the after? Since we convert it into a smart object before applying liquify, so now if we need, we can modify it. Just double click here and you can find everything we just did. If there is anything needs to be changed, then we can do that. I should mention that if there is anything in the background, then you first need to make a selection around the subject and then use liquify. Here we have just white background, so we didn't need to make any selection. Now let's do the second example. This will be a little tricky. We have a street view face where the main idea is the same. Let's first make two copies. Press Ctrl or Command and J to duplicate the layer. Here we need to make a selection on the top layer with only the upper face. In the bottom layer, we'll apply the liquify and push it upward. It will make sense when we'll do it. Okay, let's make a selection around the jawline. I will use the pen tool. The selection needs to be perfect. In the path tab, you can name it so it will be safe. Now right click and make selection. Then click the mask icon to create a mask. Here we have only the upper face. Like before, make this layer a smart object so that we can change the liquify later if we need. We also need the top layer to use it as a backdrop, but in liquify, layer mask doesn't work. So we can apply the layer mask. Press Ctrl Command and J to duplicate the layer and in this layer, apply the layer mask. Now select the below layer and go to filter, liquify. Like before, we will push the chin upward. But before we do anything, we need to see the top layer in front of the below layer. In show backdrop, select top copy. Remember, we applied the mask in this layer and we want it in front of the bottom layer. Now slowly push the chin upward. If you think other areas are affected, then you can freeze those areas. Once you are done, hit OK. Now we don't need the top layer anymore, so we can delete it. The edges look too sharp. To fix it, we can use the blur tool to blur those areas or we can go to the mask properties and add some feather. In most cases, this is all you need to do. But I choose this photo because there are a few things that you might need to fix even after removing the double chin. For example, this area looks a little bit more swollen compared to the neck. So we can use the liquify again to fix it. Let's merge everything by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. In this merge layer, we'll apply the liquify. You can use the forward warp tool like we did before. Just push it inward to match it with the neck. There is another easy way. Expand face error liquify. You can use these sliders in face shape. Also there's a face tool. This is the same thing as the face shape. Let's see the before and after. This is a massive difference. There's one more thing I wanna show you. 
you see there are some wrinkles in the neck you can fix it using the healing brush tool press alt and take a sample from a suitable areas and paint but remember we don't need to remove it completely So after removing it, we can reduce the opacity so it looks natural. And there you have it. So this is how you can remove double chin in Photoshop. Hope this video helps you. Like, share, subscribe for more videos every week. Thank you so much for watching.